In this video, I'm going to show you how to strip down the Daisy 853C even further to get right to, into the trigger mechanism. Now, what you need to do is first take off your stock. Now, I have a video for that. I'll post it right there, a link to it, so you can go check it out. Now, if we're going further, what you need to do is first take off your barrel clamp. All right. Then what you, what you need to do is remove your single shot or five shot clip, whatever you got. So just cock it back and remove it. Put the bolt forward and ease your springs. Then we got to remove the screws. There's one in each side. Grab the trusty screwdriver. That's your first one. Flip it over. And second one. Great. Next, what we got to do is remove your, remove your, your receiver. Now it comes up like a hinge and cover it with your hand because the bolt, the cocking handle spring likes to pop out. Just like that. And remove your bolt. One thing, if you're having problems lifting up your receiver, just remember there are two types of screws. There's the old style. Right. That's a two-piece system. Sometimes when you unscrew it, this is still in there. Just, just grab yourself a wrench and remove it. And there's the newer one-piece system. Don't worry about these. They just come right out when you remove the stock. So though, there we are at that point. Now if we're going further, this is your actuator clip and your actuator bar. And there's a spring right here. You have to watch that. So just remove it. Now I suggest remove it all as one piece. That way it's easier to put back together. Grab your spring and put it with your actuator. That's what helps move the five shot clip. That's what helps move the five shot clip uh, forward through the system. Our next step is to bring up the wings. There's two of them, one on each side. Screwdriver in and lift up. Flip it over and do the same. It works better with a flathead screwdriver. Mine's not in arm's reach. Lift it up and pull it all out. Be careful of this piece. Okay, this is your spacer. You don't want to lose this. All right, this helps keep things nice and tight. Move your piston tube. So just pull that out and put it aside. So let's move over to the black side of the frame and remove this screw. Again, this uh, tilts up. Cover it with your hand. There's a bunch of screws in there. You don't want to lose. And you'll, what you'll find is your hammer will pop out. And the hammer is actually on my thumb underneath. And there you go. See how it's up like that? You'll find you'll do the same thing. So there you go. Just remove your hammer. My neck. Now, if you have to go even further and rip it all apart, we're going to a whole video about all the insides of this and how to deal with it and put it back together. 